Hi and welcome to Sue Melville Art. So today I'm doing some hints and tips on how to keep pastel matte paper clean when you're doing a statement piece and I have six really cool tips for you. So as you can see I'm doing a piece at the moment, a collection at the moment on statement pieces. These are on A2 size pastel matte paper, white pastel matte and are really vibrant paintings. I've loved doing this collection. I picked white pastel matte for the statement effect. When I picked it, I didn't really think through what a nightmare it is painting on white pastel matte when you're using soft pastels and keeping white pastel matte white. So I have learned a few things. I've Googled a few things and I thought I'd share them with you so that if you suddenly feel like you want to do this too, then you can benefit from the experience I've had. Okay, so our first two tips are in prevention. So tip one, when you're working on pastel matte, cover the areas you're not going to paint. So in this instance, I covered this area in backing paper. So what this is, is um, it's a sticky plastic, not paper, plastic, um, and this is from um, book coverings. So when you've got kids who are covering their books when they're at school, it, it's that stuff. You can buy it in stationary areas of um, various supermarkets as well as, um, I was gonna say Woolworths, but that really does age me, doesn't it? Mm. You know what I mean though, hopefully. <laughs> so anyway, what I did was I, the, the um, backing has a sticky back to it and that sticks to the pastel mat and it doesn't ruin the pastel mat paper so don't panic. So I covered the whole pastel mat paper with the backing. I drew out the outline of my initial drawing and cut that out. So what I had was the pastel the plastic backing covering the majority of the white paper. One thing I did learn on um, these paintings was that when the pastel drops, if you've got a bit that goes in, as this does here, and this ear does, the pastel paint drops onto the edge of the backing and sticks to the sticky side, and then you actually get quite a hard line mark, um, which you can probably just still see a little bit of here. So what I did was I cut away that backing so that it just went straight down, and then I can use my cure on the area that isn't covered. So that's my tip number one, use a backing plastic or covering to cover those areas that you're not going to be painting. Prevention tip two, keep your hands out of the way. Now I know I'm always in there blending with my fingers. Um, I do use some tools using pan pastels, but not much. I like to get in there with my fingers. So my hands are usually filthy. What happens when you lean on something is if you happen to have got any pastel dust down here, you then press that on your white paper and you make a lovely sm smudge mark where you don't want it. So keep your hands as clean as possible. Try and limit the pastel dust to just your fingers. Um, if you're anything like me, that's practically impossible. Or use either baking pa uh, paper or glycerin paper just underneath your hand to lean on so that you're not leaning on the actual pristine white of the paper. So that will help immensely as well. So our two prevention tips are one, backing to cover the areas that you're not going to be painting and two, keep those fingers and hands clean. Be mindful of actually, to be fair, all of this area and also droppy sleeves. Try and use um, where your sleeves shortened so you just so that you're not accidentally smudging that pastel onto the rest of your paper. Tip number three, this is in the cure section and when you take your backing plastic off you will end up with a discoloured area. So the third tip is blow but very gently blowing, fanning, just removes those loose particles. What you can also do at this stage is maybe get a very light brush. So I often use a fan watercolour brush and very lightly brush those loose particles off. So what you'll get then is um, an area that's slightly discoloured 
but most of the most of the cut most of the loose pa um, pastel pigment has come off so tip number four get in there with your putty rubber Putty rubbers are fabulous. I use a, a number of them, but my favourite at the moment is a Faber-Castell one, which has a texture very similar to blue tack. So you can pull a bit off and really work away at that discoloured edge with your, um, pass with your putty rubber. The good thing about putty rubber as well, it's malleable, so you can make it into an edge, so you can get really close to the edge of your painting, being very careful, again, not to pull that pastel away from your painting and onto your clean area. So that's it. So get in there with your putty rubber. Now you, you need time to do this and take your time. Be careful, take your time. Um, it took me about an hour to clean up this um, area with the, with the putty rubber. Always make sure that you keep checking the putty rubber as well. So once it picks up pigment, it can also put pigment back down again. So check your putty rubber, turn it over, move it around so that it's always got a clean surface on there. So, so far we've got backing, protection of your hands to keep your hands clean, blowing and gently brushing loose pastel and then working with your putty rubber to get that discoloration off. Step five. So you're now left with just the stubborn stains. So what we do now is get some water and I know Water and pastels do not mix, but pastel matte paper is a mixed media paper. So you can happily get the pastel matte paper wet and it's fine. Um, keep it taped down on your board as you were when you were drawing it, because it will buckle when it's wet as watercolor paper does, but after 24 hours drying, it dries totally flat again. Um, so keep it taped but don't be afraid to use water. Just be very careful not to get water on your painting. So what I do is I use a white cloth because I've got a white background. I don't want any pigment from my cloth to get on the paper. I'm getting pigment off the paper, not back on it. So I'll put the cloth around my finger usually, spray that with some water or dip my finger in some water, Make sure that squeeze the excess off, you don't want it too wet, and then work that into the areas of colour and just lift that colour off. Um, this area was, was quite stained and I actually got that quite wet in order just to work that off and clean it up. So step five, water. Step six, the final, oh my gosh, I've got one bit that just will not come off. And that's, and you can, I've got some bits here and here and here that just nothing was shifting. Again, it's a mixed media paper. So what you do is you get some white pastel, either, um, I used Faber-Castell hard pit um, pastels for this. You can use anything that matches your colour. And that's the thing, you get a swatch and put your, chosen medium on the swatch to see which matches your paper best. So you can use a hard pastel, a soft pastel or gouache even and just see which blends in best with your pastel matte paper. So I used some hard pastel. For me the Sennelier soft white was a bit too bright for my paper um, and I didn't have any gouache left. So I, I used the hard pastel which works fine and what you can do is just gently colour over that stain, blend it in with your finger and although if you are looking for it and you know it's there you can still see that mark, once it's framed and on a wall you're not going to notice it's there. And that's how you maintain your clean pastel mat with just six easy steps. I hope that was useful for you. If it is please subscribe to my YouTube channel Go over to my Facebook page where I'll be sharing other hints and tips and I will be writing a blog which will be available on my website too. So if you want anything else that you'd like me to do a quick bit of content on, please let me know because I'm often painting and it's in my head and I know what I'm doing because I've done it for so many years and I'll not necessarily know that it's useful to somebody else. So please let me know and I will create some content as I'm painting. So again, I hope this is useful. This is Sue Melville Art and I'll see you again soon. Bye.